Hey, what's up guys? In this video I wanted to show you how I did this uh, little lighting setup for this uh, lightning scene. And how I did it just using these three lights that I've got up here. So in this scene I actually have two different setups because uh, the first setup is going to be uh, trying to simulate to make it look like this whole room is being lit by the practical lamp that's there actually in the shot. Uh, and then later on when the boom the electricity cuts out uh, We're making it look like there's basically lightning uh, outside that's lighting the actual scene and then we see uh, the, the girl on the scene she actually lights a candle and This is how you know how it looks then when it's lit with the candle So for the first part of the scene I do actually have that practical there in the corner uh, of the shot and it is providing a bit of the light But it, that by itself was not enough as you can see up here uh, definitely wasn't lighting any of the objects here in the foreground and also wasn't providing a nice enough kind of a uh, wrapping around soft light uh, around our uh, actress. So the first light uh, that I set up, which was kind of what I would call my key light, uh, is this guy up here. Uh, this is from Came TV. Uh, it's a Came TV Boltzen RGB light that is a big panel light and as you can see, you can power it using V-mount batteries. Or in this case, I have it plugged in. That's how I used it in this scene. Uh, and it's uh, you know you got all the controls up back here, but you can also control this light using this remote control Which by the way will work with all of these other lights now the reason why I use this light uh, as on my key light and Not the, these other ones that I have up here is because it's the biggest light So it's gonna provide us the softest kind of light that wraps around uh, around our, the, the girl's face And if you actually look at this light if you were to take off this honeycomb filter from the top you can see it's a nice big even uh, kind of a frosted surface so when you actually power this light on uh, which looks like this as you can see it is a very very even light now I'm gonna right now turn the intensity of this light down and as you can see I can do all of that using this remote like I said so that's one of the cool sort of features about this light and when you get any of these lights by the way you you uh, you can get this remote uh, and you can connect it very easily just by adjusting the, the different channels, the channel IDs that they have. Um, so you can you can control one or actually multiple lights at once uh, using just this. Now you, the cool thing about these lights is that they're not just your standard LED lights. These are actually also um, RGB lights. So I can actually uh, select it here. I can switch here to different modes. And as you can see here, I can switch the different uh, color temperatures. I can go from nice sort of a blue to red and oh man this is bright okay, let me turn it down even more the brightness of this light but yeah you, you can control all of this stuff uh, using this little remote or you know by directly kind of interacting with the light here on, on the back um, and that's the kind of cool thing and what I, another thing I like is like I said it's a nice kind of a, a frosted light so it, it's gonna provide you uh, a very even uh, light and very even kind of smooth looking shadows and that's kind of what I wanted on uh, on the girl in our scene now another thing I wanted to also make sure is our scene doesn't look overly lit I wanted to make it feel like it's at night and it's being lit mainly by that practical there so for that uh, I wanted to make sure that this light doesn't just spill all, all over the place the light itself does come with barn doors like the one for example you can see up here and so I could have used these barn doors to control the spill. Now the problem with that is that I wanted to have this light as close as possible to the girl's face so that again it provides a softer light. The closer you are, the bigger the surface area is going to be in relation to your subject, so the light is going to be softer. Um, so I didn't want to be moving it back, so I had it just off screen. The second I put these barn, barn doors, you can, you can see they stick out quite a bit. So another way of controlling light spill is by using these honeycomb filters. And it just so happens that these lights come with it and uh, they mount very easily because they're all magnetic. Boom, I attach it and as you can see now you can control the light spill. So for example, I can have this light now, for example here, just pointed at me. I can increase the intensity here. And as you can see up here it's pretty strong. Now all I have to do is just point it a little bit where these honeycombs basically all I'm seeing is the, the dark side of it. So it's no longer actually hitting me now uh, on my face. But if I Rotate it just a little bit, it's it's now providing me light. And if I point it directly at me, then it become, becomes much stronger. So that's the cool thing about this honeycomb, is that it doesn't add a lot of thickness or basic size to your light, but it really directs the light in one direction. Now the next light that I used is actually this little guy, which is also a KMTV Boltzmann RGB light. 
which you can power using the provided AC adapter or in this case as uh, like you can see I have this two Sony NPF style batteries and uh, it's also a really cool light because again you can use this remote or you can directly here adjust the intensity of this light uh, you can adjust uh, the color of it or or you can go switch into RGB mode so you can have the different as you can see the different colors here that you can kind of cycle through uh, you can actually program these and animate them and you can uh, control this light not only using this remote but you can even control it using the uh, the phone app so you can control it because it connects via Wi-Fi uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this I use this in kind of a very basic way because I just use this as my sort of a fill light uh, and as you can see I had these objects here in the foreground of my chat which was this part of the couch and the, and the pillow and then also these flowers that were on the table and without this fill light it just it looks too dark you can't even tell what it is but thanks to this little light I was able to kind of put it right next to the camera and just shine a little bit of this sort of a fill light uh, just enough so that it still looks like the rest of the room is kind of darker but you can at least tell what the hell is in the shot. Now, as you can see, just with these two lights, you can come up with a you know nice looking shot. Definitely looks better than what it looked like before without any lights in it. Uh, and then uh, the third light that I have up here is what I use to simulate the lightning effect outside the window. So it's very basic. I just put this light on a stand, set it outside, uh, it's kind of shining in through the window. And then I just turned on one of these built-in scenes that it has which is, uh, in this case, the lightning effect scene. Uh, as you can see up here, it's already flashing and you can adjust still here the intensity of the light with this or the basically how fast you want this to work. So if I, for example, speed this up now, you can see you can make it go crazy fast. Uh, I don't want to give you guys a seizure, so I'll kind of slow it down. And this is more or less the speed that I had uh, when it was outside the window. So it creates that effect of, of lightning kind of flashing uh, and illuminates my, our scene from there. And then once I had this, then all I had to do is, you know, once the lightning starts going, then I just, uh, using again the remote, was able to turn off all the lights there and uh, in the room. And then this way we're just left with this light shining through the window, which again creates this kind of cool dramatic uh, effect. Now, by the way, these lights do actually have other kind of built-in scenes that you can play around with. For example, they have this thing, which is called a disco scene. And again, you can adjust the intensity and the speed of it. And it just cycles through the different colors that they have. And then, for example, they have this one, which is the, the TV lighting effect. They have candle, fire, lighting effect. They have different uh, presets that you can kind of play with. Uh, and again, you can set up your own ones through the, the phone app. Now, once the scene goes totally dark and then we have uh, the girl light up a candle, in that shot of the candle and the match itself, uh, all I really used is uh, our, again, lighting light in the back, kind of backlighting, providing a bit of a rimmed light there so you can kind of see the outline again of her hand and the, and the candle. And then once again, when we cut to our wide shot, I have the lightning effect light back outside shining in through the window. But then I also use this big uh, LED light uh, with the grid on, but very dimly lit and very kind of warm lighting uh, color temperature that I set in there. Uh, and I just sort of have this light following the girl as she's walking so that uh, basically she's getting lit a little bit m more evenly and also just gives a little bit of a boost because the candlelight itself was, wasn't strong enough to, to illuminate the, the, the scene nicely. So uh, again, I just had this and I was just rotating it as she's walking along and I'm kind of fo following her so that the center of this light is hitting mainly there where she's holding the, the candle. And that's it for this scene. You know, at the end, all you got to do is uh, do some color grading. In my case, I just used one of my preset color grading LUTs uh, that, again, you guys can download on my website at tomantosfilms.com. Uh, while you're there, subscribe to my newsletter so you guys can stay notified about all the uh, cool different lighting tutorials and film gear reviews uh, and other things that I do. Uh, and if you guys want to find out more about these really neat uh, lights from KMTV, then again, just follow the information in the description below. Uh, I'll show you guys the latest prices and places where you guys can find it. Uh, and also the different specs, if you, in case you want to find out more info about these lights. I myself, I'm very happy I got these. KMTV actually has other tube lights, which are also RGB lights. And again, you can control them using this. Uh, so if you guys want to check out all of that, again, uh, you'll find out more info on my website or in the description down below. Anyways, my name is Tom and I'll see you guys in the next one.